yes. Water, when you're thirsty, is literally like God's nectar. <laughs> like that's how it feels. Fuck all that wine bullshit. I don't even like wine. The blood of Christ is water. Or maybe the piss of Christ or the cum of Christ. Who knows? So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am Tara Babcock, and I am a female cuck. Okay, so this is a super exciting video for me because I've wanted to, for the longest time, kind of introspect about why I am a female cuck. I think there are many different societal and man-made, self-made reasons why I might be a cuck. Hold on, I am very extremely thirsty. Oh my god, because you know I'm always thirsty, not just on Thursdays. Okay, so first let's define what a cuck is. So there's a few different definitions of a cuck. There's like the derogatory, just like shit-talking version that's kind of similar to calling someone gay when that used to be okay to do where it wasn't talking about the actual definition homosexuality it was more just like being like oh you're such a cook you know like that kind of thing like a derogatory you're a beta male kind of diss then you have the olden days term which was you are raising the child of some other man or you're being cheated on and you do not know it and you are a man usually it was never usually like a female thing it's like a man being cheated on or a man raising another man's kid without him knowing usually and that's a huge deal especially back in the day I think evolutionary psychology can explain a little bit why that's so bad mainly because if you're thinking about the wild wild west or being like an actual base animal raising the offspring of your own child so that your genetic makeup is not furthering itself but really some other dudes and you don't even know it is like the worst thing ever right and then you have today's kink and fetish that often will tie into BBC stuff or interracial stuff. And that is a man who is extremely turned on by watching his girlfriend get plowed by usually a more manly man or a black dude. So I am the latter one basically, but with a few little changes and tweaks for my gender. Meaning I like to watch my boyfriend fuck other girls. I like the idea of my boyfriend thinking about other girls or fucking other girls. I like to watch it. I think it's hot, I like threesomes, all of that jazz. And genuinely, it's not something that I'm just like doing for him. I'm sure there's a small psychological aspect that's like that, and we'll go into that later, but I really, really do get my own enjoyment from it to the point where I sometimes feel like I'm forcing my partner to talk about it more than he wants to or divulge more than he wants to just because I get excitement and arousal out of it. So there is a term for being a female cuck, and it is cuck queen. It's weird because it's like Q U. E A N instead of the regular spelling of queen, which I don't have to tell you guys because you know it, hopefully. And there's no real like better woman, more alpha woman, hotter woman aspect to it. I feel like it might be kind of hot if the girl is hotter. Actually, no, that's wrong. Thinking back into my memory, I do think it is super hot if a guy is fucking me and then like he's telling me like some other girl is hotter or something, especially if he doesn't mean it, he's just saying it in the moment or like talking about another girl or thinking about another girl while he's fucking me, like that shit's really hot. So I guess there is is a kind of like a component similar to the regular cuck fetish that men have. So here are the few reasons why I think I might have this. And please do post in the comments if you have this as well, whether you're male or female, and try to tell me why and introspect as to why you have this fetish. Because for me, it's really interesting to think about kinks and fetishes on a psychological level and try to understand why we have them. Some of them are much more obvious. Others, like feet, have always been really curious to me, but I found out recently, and I'll just do this really quick, we're gonna gloss over this, but apparently feet is kind of like worshiping the thing that she walks on that's the dirtiest that she puts on the ground. Like you're underneath her, beneath her, like you are her floor kind of thing. So it's basically like another component of worshiping a woman or so I've heard. So foot fetishists, you can also chime in in the comments and let me know if that is accurate because that was the most interesting revelation to me because I was like, dude, I have no idea why people like feet. It makes no sense. There's no like aspect of the mother that comes back into some Freudian foot fetish thing. It's nothing like that. There's no curves on a wrinkly foot that look like a titty, you know, like most guys like doggy style or being bent over or whatever the fuck, not being bent over, bending over, because not only does it look like boobs from the back, but it's like kind of the way that a lot of primates will mate. So I've thought about this a lot and it's become more strong lately. So there are a few things that I feel when I feel attracted to this cuck experience. One thing is, and I've talked about this before, it's kind of the reason why I really like to watch guys jerk off or like that's my preferred porn, preferred thing to look at or watch. 
watch that like arouses me and I think it's because there's an honesty to it and there's an aspect of it that I'm not supposed to be seeing like the intimacy with another person or just being so honest like that's like the epitome of honesty to be able to tell your partner like this girl is hot or something because then you have that aspect of competitivism competition probably a better word to use there that will often turn a lot of people off or put people on the defensive but for me I want a partner that is that open that they can tell me all of that stuff especially hearing about my partners like past relationships or past times that they've fucked people or their fun sex escapades it makes me feel closer to them and it also makes me feel like they can trust me with things that they wouldn't normally trust a partner with or a friend with and that makes me feel like the ultimate partner and the ultimate closeness to that person that I care about so much so there's one aspect of it that I think plays a role in it just the honesty aspect like honesty turns me on so much having someone who's honest with me is really cool and I've always hated every time I saw like a married couple there would always be this aspect where like they would talk about a crush that they had but it would clearly like piss off the other person in the relationship and it just like really turned me off that I felt like girls would talk about how hot other guys are with their girlfriends and guys would talk about how hot other girls are with their girlfriends but then that was why they had boys and girls nights because they couldn't talk about that stuff with their partners or how many fucking romantic comedies or like shitty fucking sitcoms you see on TV where like the husband will mess up and like oh my god get slapped by the wife like that kind of dynamic has always just disgusted me that whole like I'm not letting you be yourself and therefore pushing you away from telling me the truth and growing this weird divide of like there are certain things I can't tell my partner which in my opinion makes them not a partner at least in the way that I would care to value a partner moving further away from that is definitely something that's great but that alone wouldn't make it a kind of kink for me it would just be like ooh, I feel so great that he's telling me these things but I'm still super super insecure and unhappy about it I wish they didn't exist another aspect of it I think quite honestly if I'm being completely introspective and not like holding anything back is like wanting to be kind of a pick-me girl I don't think that I actually strive to be a pick-me girl anymore I think I think that's just kind of my nature probably from environment and there's a lot of things I want to go into about pick me girls because I am definitely the definition of a pick me girl without actually consciously doing that or being fake about it it's just like my nature now but I am doing a video responding to a pick me girl video so we're not gonna dive too deeply into that but it basically just stems from being a tomboy when I was younger having crushes on boys and then the boys liking me for my personality but not liking me for my looks so I combine the two and here I am especially being bisexual that makes it a lot easier because I can look in the mirror and be like damn I look a lot like girls that I think are hot so yeah a part of it is probably me being a pick me and wanting to be like the perfect girlfriend and wanting to like be cool to all the guys that I date or the guys that I fuck but when I honestly like sit there and meditate on how it makes me feel I'm not trying to be that way it's just kind of coming natural to me and I'm not hiding any resentment from those things happening even though very very occasionally I can have a flare-up of insecurity like anyone else can but it's pretty much on the same level as any other thing. It's not like a lot higher. Let me explain. It seems like in relationships, people can have insecurities about like trust. Is my partner happy or am I doing the right gifts? Am I spoiling my partner enough? Like everyone has a little bit of insecurity in certain aspects of their relationships, even in friendships, right? However, it really seems like in traditional relationships, sexual relationships and like marriages, dating, all that stuff, people have a lot more jealousy insecurities and like sex beauty insecurities and they put those up on a pedestal compared to the other in my opinion more important insecurities like am I being a good person to my person so my jealousy sex body image insecurities in the relationship are down here whereas I have a lot of insecurities about like are we being truthful enough are we blah 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 like this is a regular relationship the sex and all that stuff is up here and they're like oh my god he looked at another girl oh my god I'm not hot enough I'll fucking fuck my boyfriend or whatever no makeup in the morning haven't brushed my teeth and like I feel great about it and there's no problem with that and I'll have like multiple threesomes with people or hear about a crazy past experience and I'll be completely fine and secure and not have any like any green feelings at all because that's the color of jealousy for some reason although I do have some very very minute insecurities just like in every other aspect of a relationship that might pop up I can honestly say that none of it actually bothers me in the moment and in 90% of interactions and it's really like a natural thing for 
for me. So the other reason I think that I have this kind of fetish is because I like control. So the only problem I have with any of the stuff that comes along with like an open relationship, because you know my previous relationship was fully open and this one is like half open, is if I'm not involved or not invited to be involved. Like the only place where I would draw the line is if I wasn't told, if I wasn't asked if it was like a new situation or something, if I could have been involved and instead I wasn't involved, or if it was like done behind my back. Like I have no problem about hearing about past girlfriends or past experiences. If we're both at a party and he just neglects to come and get me for a threesome and instead just like has sex with a girl, like I would be pretty sad and pretty upset because it would be so easy to just include me. And I would then have these like red flags that are like, why didn't you include me? Do you feel like you're not supposed to be doing this thing and you're gonna just do it and then ask forgiveness later? Because that's like way worse than just asking first and having a conversation and being like, well, I'm gonna do it. And then I'm like, okay, cool. At least you told me beforehand, you know? So that kind of stuff is the only thing that I'm like not okay with along those lines. So I think it's kind of like a control, wanting to be involved in everything, wanting to be around clingy kind of thing. But then I could just tell him not to have sex with other girls and we could be monogamous. I don't really think that's one of the reasons that I want it. I just think it's like a stipulation within the contract of my relationships where I'm like, please involve me if at all possible. And you have to tell me everything so that there's transparency. So it doesn't look like you're doing things behind my back. And so that I am fully informed on my sexual health and stuff like that. I can make decisions, informed decisions. Decisions. And the last reason, and I think this is probably the most powerful reason, is that I'm really, really into super masculine, dominant men, and I'm the submissive person in a relationship. As I've talked about many times before, a lot of people who are submissive in the bedroom are dominant in real life. I happen to be one of those people. There's a lot of men that are like that. There will be like really strong men in powerful positions, like doctor or a politician, and obviously that's like a trope for them to be like into being like tied up and whipped by some random dominatrix. And that probably does ring true. Like you have so much power and responsibility in your normal life that you want to kind of let that go and just be a totally different person in your sexual life or at night. For me, I think there's nothing hotter than just bringing my guy women, like bringing pussy to my king, you know, like just like you should have all the pussy. And it's fun when a guy kind of also has that mindset where he's like jealous of any other guy. And like, I don't know, I just like the one-sided dynamic so much more than the open relationship. I cannot tell you how much I like that. I like there being certain inconsistencies in what we do. And I like being told what to do because it adds more to the alpha male mystique there. It's like, you can't do this, do that. I'm like, yes, sir, absolutely. And I don't role play it like that. I don't go like, yes, sir. I mean, I could, I need to, I wanna try role playing because I've knocked it so long. I wanna try it. I wanna try everything at least once. I don't do it in that way. It's more just like a kind of background dynamic that overall makes me more happy with the relationship. So if a guy is getting multiple girls, he's a badass, right? If a guy has a a harem of women, he's a fucking Chad. And that's kind of what I want to create for the person that I consider to be my king, my person. Cause I think it would be kind of lame if like being with him meant that for sure he wouldn't be able to be that kind of alpha Chad. Like that would suck. It would probably turn me off to him a little bit that he's willing to sacrifice something that like, let's be honest, every guy wants to do in a relationship, even if they're madly in love, they still want to fuck other people. It's like a biological need that isn't necessarily needed anymore because you can settle down and have multiple children with one person, but like men just have the desire to procreate and it doesn't necessarily mean anything negative toward the person that they chose to love for the rest of their lives. In fact, in my opinion, it spices up the relationship, which is something that I think is really cool. And then of course I'm slightly bisexual as well. So just a little cherry on top that makes it more fun. Cause I also like looking at girls, but I honestly think, okay, like let me dive into a little more of the explicit stuff. Like actually what I like specifically, like I said before in the video, I like it if a guy is fucking me and he's just like talking about some other girl, telling me he's thinking about some other girl. Not every time, but it's a nice little spice up. Like, I don't want that to be like the only way he can come is to think about someone else. Cause that would suck. Cause like then I'm not doing my job, but looking hot or whatever. But like, just to kind of add that into the slapping me around, choking me, spanking me, that kind of thing. Well, I don't really like spanking that much, but you know what I mean? I'll take it from my king. Mm. To add that kind of degrading, humiliating, dirty talk in where it concerns another woman I think is really hot. Also, I love the idea of like a guy jerking off and then I'm like whispering into his ear like a story, kind of like an ASMR story about another girl. I think that'd be really hot. I love obviously threesomes. I actually take a really non-inclusive threesome method lately. Like I'm kind of involved. I get fucked a little. I do stuff to the girl. She does stuff to me, but overall I'm more just 
watching and observing and being like, oh my God, this is so hot. And that's kind of a role I've realized that I like a lot, even more so than being fully involved. So when I'm having a threesome, unlike other girls who I think feel more comfortable if they're the center of attention and their partner's giving them more attention than the other girl and she's just kind of like an extra for both of them, I'm like the opposite. I want my man to give her all the attention and I get to watch because then I feel like I have kind of a lens into like what he would do were I not there and it's just like really hot and like doing it together like two two lips on a cock obviously hot two lips two sets of lips on a cock two sets of hands stuff like that is really hot but then also the moving back and just like being a part of the scene and watching like I've always joked that I want to get those slits the door of some kind of like closet or something and just watch from there not even be involved and maybe just like masturbate to it or something because I think that is so fucking hot I like the peeping aspect of both man solo and man with girl. So that's stuff that I think is really hot. I really like hearing about like past experiences and I always want him to like describe the girl, describe the situation. Like I think it's super hot. Obviously I like watching porn with my man. That's like the ultimate thing because you get the solo aspect and the thinking about other girls aspect and that's just like the hottest thing ever. I want to kind of just be used. Like my body, my holes just be used while like he's like watching porn. I think that's super hot. I like it when he just kind of like comments on a girl when we're out. Like. That's fucking fun. Strip clubs, oh my God, the best thing ever. There is nothing better than like going to a strip club and getting like a double lap dance with your guy. And then like, they'll often focus on me because they're like, uh-oh, we wanna get tips and we don't want the girl to be mad. But I'm like, no, 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 focus on him. <laughs> like every time. And I think that shit is fucking cool. What do you guys think? I haven't done a video where I talked about this in depth, so I thought it would be fun to finally talk about it this much. And maybe we'll find some people out there that feel the way that I do as well, because I don't think that a lot of the swingers, a lot of the open relationships, a lot of the polyamorous marriages, it seems like they're not exactly like this. It's just kind of more like freedom, love, whatever, like woo and less like do it because it specifically turns me on not because I'm letting you be free to be turned on which is also a turn on don't get me wrong but it is even more so something that turns me on specifically even if they didn't want to do it <laughs> well to an extent I don't want to force someone to do something they don't want to do that wouldn't be hot anyway as promised let's show you what my ass looks like in this skirt and I will let you be on your merry way I hope you guys like this video like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed let me know what you think of my outfit I am very cozy here right now and I will see you guys in the next one show you some butt